Okay, everybody, here we are. So just a recap of what we talked about today in class. Um, integrated three. We talked about quadratics. And one of the things we learned about quadratics is it's kind of a funny word because really quadratic sounds like quad. But quadratics are really x squared equations. And with x squared equations, they have this shape, which we call parabolas. So it's easier to just call them parabolas. However, they are called quadratics specifically from the quadratic equation, eh, which we'll learn later, okay? Now, there are three forms that quadratics come into. First form is called the vertex form. I like the vertex form because it's in a form that we can get the vertex easily. So we would have y equals some a number, some number, parentheses x minus h squared plus k. This is a vertex form. In math, the minus always means opposite, okay? So then the vertex is within the formula. The vertex are these two numbers opposite hk. So as an example, I showed the kids this example, y equals 2, parentheses, x plus 3, quantity squared minus 4. The vertex would be at opposite, opposite of this one, opposite, so it would be a negative 3, and a negative 4. So that's the vertex. So if I had to graph the vertex, it's at that bottom point, we know the line of symmetry, or the axis of symmetry, always goes through it. So we'd have an x equals negative 3 would have to be the axis of symmetry. It's the same thing. The second form is the factored form, or the root form. So it comes in a factored form. So the book likes this a times parentheses x minus r1, that's just a number, root 1, parentheses r x minus r2. These are like our mini equations. We've done this before. So if we graph our roots, whatever the numbers may be, I got a number here and a number here, then the line of symmetry has to go through the middle of the graph. So it would be between directly exactly in the middle of the two roots. Easy way to get the line of symmetry is just take the average of the roots. Okay, so R1 plus R2 divided by 2. Um, so I showed an example. We had, here's just an example, y equals a negative 1 half times an x plus 4 times an x plus 10. So after I solve the mini equations, or we know it's the opposite, opposite, opposite of 4 is negative 4, opposite of 10 is negative 10, we have our roots. So our roots are at negative 4 and negative 10. And then what we do to get the line of symmetry is just average them. I go negative 4 plus negative 10, which is negative 14 divided by 2 is negative 7. So the line of symmetry would be at negative 7. That puts it right in between these numbers. Right in between these numbers would be negative 7. If we wanted the y value, I would take this negative 7 and plug it in to get the y value. Not asking that for yet. Okay, then our third form is called the standard form or general form. This book likes general form. I like standard form. Okay, So most of our quadratics come in the general form and ax squared plus bx plus c. Okay, If it comes in this form, then again the line of symmetry comes back to an old equation that we learned in geometry. We use this negative b over 2a where a is this number, b is this number, and c is this number. Not the x's, just the number. So we looked at it example. So let's find the line of symmetry. It's in standard form, 3x squared minus 4x plus 1. And the line of symmetry would be, well, I need my a, which is my 3. I need my b, which is my negative 4. I have to plug it into my form. So my negative 4 goes there. That's my b. So I'm going to go negative, negative 4 divided by 2, that's part of the formula, times a, and the a value is 3. So plug my negative 4 into here, negative negative 4. I plug my 3 in 4a, and I just simplified that, positive 4 over 6, which is x equals 2 thirds. Okay, so that's kind of what we did, and we also could look, and we didn't really do this part, but we'll talk about this part tomorrow, but we could also look at what the book talks about as far as drawing lines, and we'll talk about this tomorrow. We'll talk about this tomorrow. It's actually very easy, okay? So, here we go. Homework today was, I think, pages 
20, 21, 22 out of our skills practice. Um, and so the kids will have this done and to me tomorrow. All right, that's all I have. You guys have a wonderful night, and I'll see you tomorrow.